Welcome to Disturbing Comics, where we talk about all the craziest comics. Now today, I got some really crazy stuff to show you. Two comics and one manga that'll bake your brains. We got My Chance Daily Life, an extremely cool comic manga hybrid called Vitiators, and lastly, Cross Returns. Ready? This is a bucket of fuck is a bucket of buck. If you want to see what happens, including all the messed up parts and all of them, stay tuned for the panels. Cue to Gohan. My Chance Daily Life is the twisted creation of Uzugo Waita. Yeah, they made a movie about the comic, we covered it. Just click the eye in the top right to check it out. It's about a maid who has the power to regenerate, similar to Deadpool or Wolverine. She's also a masochist, and is a maid who is often cut up worse than a Jason victim for all the twisted clients, only to regrow herself eventually. She performs seppuku in public, naked as well, and every freaking speech bubble exclaims that it hurts so bad. She regenerates though, and gets burned all the way to the bones. Even that won't stop her. One chapter, she has to feed a living doll, a lady who can't speak with no arms or legs, feeding her with hamburger meat made from her arms. Looks like Uzugo Aikta really loves the suffering aspect to really make this as twisted as possible. Oh, and trust me, it gets worse. All the female body parts are eventually going to be taken off in this manga. Hell, she even gets a lion sicked on her after three criminals attacked her, of course, just to make it as evil as possible. And what kind of lion looks like that? You have to be really ready to read anything from this manga. It's on par with Cross when it comes to senseless images. Interestingly, the afterlife is very real here. The only hopeful good place. But then, Mai has to watch the doll lady's body decompose. Oh, and then there's this kid. The next couple chapters have him becoming the subject of masochism I'd like to not mention. And it only gets worse from there. The final chapter has something that makes the baby scene in a Serbian film look easy, easy breezy cover girl. This is too much for YouTube, so all I can do is mention it. But we will return to My Chance Daily Life in some uncensored video. Now, let me show you another nightmare. Vitiators is an extreme horror manga hybrid full of decadence and corruption that is almost impossible to wrap your head around. Written by Elgin Flask and illustrated by Charles N, this independent comic is cool for some of you that want to see extreme imagery and just pure corruption like we've never seen. Don't expect a linear story, but let me pick a couple chapters that really torture the soul. A bunch of Redditors kill the mayor and perform a ritual that expels their souls, which ends up communing with a space slut, the results of which end up morally corrupting this entire city. It's almost like Cross mixed with Marvel ruins, filled with exposition that would make me feel like I'm in a nightmare. An imagery that is even more disturbing. We follow someone trying to find their next fix, a fix that goes right through the forehead, another in the butt, and another in the eyeball. A merciful drug that takes the users away from this extreme, depraved world. Now let me tell you about the Orphan Maker. A couple have tied up their daughter, Annie, and are in dire need of some sex coaching. Yeah, that's mom tied up on the ceiling, willingly. They await a procurer, a latex demon that tongue kisses the husband, feeding him a virus that he then gives to his wife. This scary virus turns the man into a willing monster, changing like the thing, as Annie escapes from her binds, watching her dad devour the mom. Scary, right? have to censor him here because we know where all the blood went to. He gores apart the wife down below and then does the old making love with the gored parts. The mother then transforms herself and eats the husband like a hungry spider. Annie's soul vomits out of her, looking similar to that thing that kept giving guts nightmares before evolving into a weak Dark Souls boss, speaking its terrifying language and destroying the parents of every young person in this building. Orphans lining up as Annie's skin deteriorates from being too far away from her soul. At one point, Annie gets kidnapped, like freaking Bloodborne where you get kidnapped by those kidnappers, and she gets taken to this deep 
demon of a hairdresser. Looking at her, she's worse than police sketches. It's here she finds a manga called Depraver, which gives her directions to reunite with her soul. The manga leads her to a person with no limbs. Annie chews off the guy's face and eyes, attracting the orphan maker. Seeing that was enough for the orphan maker to off itself in disgust, and Annie tells the story to the group of orphans surrounding her. And that was just a few pages from Vitiators. It scares me. Though some of you would love this kind of thing. So if you want to see 250 pages worth of corrupted, horrific despair, go to expatpress.com and check this out. Link in the description. And thanks Mr. Frass for letting me know about this. Now we gotta go get some more corruption in Cross Badlands. Cross Badlands is the next part of Cross and contains various unconnected stories. Issues 1 through 3 are about some Scottish survivors trying to survive as best they can. So we follow Ian this time hanging with a group of survivors after the death of his wife. She was infected and let a car hit her instead of turning into the cross. Well now the guy barely keeps it together with his group. That that includes sharpshooter Prince Harry. Yes, this Harry. They are being perpetually followed by Cross as they try to survive Scotland. They have cool plans to get the Cross to off themselves because they are so sadistic. Just one problem, they got some dead weight. This guy does nothing for the group at all and even gets them almost killed. Knowing they are being chased, they sacrifice this guy by cutting his tendons, letting him slowly bleed out to get massacred by the Cross. Ian remembers leaving behind another group before. He doesn't stay with the group that can't do what's best for the survival of everyone. One of the group is pregnant and they find a crashed plane to camp in. Ian wants to ditch the pregnant woman so bad and even organizes a vote to do it, but everyone votes to stay with each other. They soon find out the woman died anyway. Shame. But as an objective observer with no skin in the game, the group is playing Hungry Hippo when they should be playing 4D chess. Eventually, some cross catch up to the group killing Prince Harry. Always save a bullet for yourself, dawg, come on now. Soon, he gets crossified, and they all plan a way to get Harry's rifle so they can kill the cross group. They run as best they can in the snow and let the cross come into their crosshairs, shooting when they can see the white in their eyes. Even more depressing is the cross found the corpse of the pregnant lady and are carrying it like a backpack. The brother of the pregnant lady is so more he has his last stand with that group of cross. It doesn't end in his favor. One of the female cross sits on his face before they rip him apart. Save bullets for yourself. Finally, Ian finds Prince Harry's gun and knocks some of the cross out. They get really close to him and one of their brains splatter into his mouth. This infects him, but he knows he must off himself, like how his wife did. He has one grenade left, but hesitates to blow it. That is, until his group tell him, pull the freaking pin. The entire group has turned into cross and they tell him, pull it. And that is the end. I like that ending a lot, probably one of my favorites. And these three comics and manga are just some cool, nightmare gory fuel to eat along with your food tonight. And that's why you should watch this video on Cross Psychopath. This is the previous Cross story where a psycho endangers the group just to get his crush to like him. You'll like that, I promise. Thanks for watching, subscribe, hit that button, and like the video. I'll see you next time. Spooky out.